three, two, one. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, people. My name is Ryan Smith. Welcome to the Ryan Stewart Podcast. Today is Sunday, December 25th. Merry Christmas. Get your umbrellas out because I'm about to do some Christmas brainstorming. Let's go. All right, guys. Today is Christmas, so I'm going to uh, assume that there's not going to be many podcast listeners, but let this uh, fill your minds and maybe you can make a New Year's resolution to be a bit more practical. Um, I'm going to tell you a tale today of an ancient uh, god named Mithras. Um, so, Mithras, he's uh, an ancient mythological deity, and um, I want to read to you, you know, a couple things about him. He was worshipped in Persia about 400 years prior to the birth of Christ, and he was worshipped continually throughout the first four or five centuries uh, after the birth of Christ in Rome, right alongside those that worship Jesus. They actually destroyed many records of him and killed people that they, that, uh, continued to worship Mithras. But, um, let me, you know, this was before the printing press, so, it, obviously, uh, words of the gods traveled by the people that were wanderers going all around the continent, passing stories. So let me read to you a little bit from the biography of Mithras. Mithras was born of a virgin in a cave on December 25th. Uh, His birth was attended by shepherds. He was considered a great traveling teacher and master. He had 12 companions. I mean, if you wanted to nitpick, maybe you could call them disciples. Um, He promised his followers immortality. He performed miracles. He sacrificed himself for world peace. He was buried in a tomb, and after three days, he rose again. His followers celebrated this event each year at the time of Mithras' resurrection, and the date later became what we now celebrate as Easter. Mithras was called the Good Shepherd. He was identified as names such as the Lamb, the Light, the Lion, the Way, the Truth, the Logos, the Redeemer, the Savior, and the Messiah. His followers followers celebrated his, uh, I guess, his deity and his power on Sundays which was his sacred day, known as the Lord's Day. They celebrated with a Eucharist, or Lord's Supper, and Mithras, by this description, he sounds very similar to somebody. But mainly, I just recognize that He was born on December 25th. Um, So happy birthday, Mithras. I know that we celebrate Jesus' birthday on December 25th, and it's well known that it's not his birthday. I don't suppose that these guys could have got mixed up, and perhaps neither is real. But the one that came first certainly would have more of a stake to being real than the one that came after, no? And that is an awful awful lot to have in common. All right, that's it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, guys. Anchor.fm. My home podcast platform. My favorite of all of them. 
by far. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's by Spotify. It's their podcast wing. It has everything you need in one place. Let me explain. It has all the tools you need to record and edit the podcast right from your phone or your computer. Uh, there's so much you'll see on YouTube about needing this microphone, that microphone. No, Anchor has it all right in the app. I'm telling you, the quality that it can pick up in your voice right from a normal phone, it's unmatched. No app I can download can record with the uh, precision of Anchor. And when you're hosting on Anchor, you can describe your podcast on uh, listening platforms like Spotify, Apple, Google, um, Radio Host, even more. Uh, it's, it's just everything you need to make a podcast, guys. It's all in one place. It's the best. And guess what? It's completely free. Download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Once again, anchor.fm. That's A-N-C-H-O-R.fm to get started. This has been an L.R. Smith production. I hope I didn't spoil your holiday. Tune in next time. Chicken, monkey, lesbian. Chicken, monkey, lesbian.